Can religion and spirituality be measured scientifically? Intensive research on the brain says the answer is yes. Interesting. Well, Sharon Crowley takes a closer look at the mental power of faith and this month's big idea. How do you feel after you pray? Do you feel happy? happy? <laughs> I think you feel a little bit centered and I think reassured that you're thinking about other people and that there are more things in the world than just us. It's a surreal experience. You open your eyes and you thank God for being alive. It's a good feeling. You just feel well. I just feel better about life and myself and my blessings. The spiritual feeling these faithful describe may now be supported by science. Religion is one of the most important influences on people's behavior. Dr. Jeffrey Anderson is an associate professor of neuroradiology at the University of Utah. What we wanted to understand is what's happening in the brain while somebody has a spiritual or religious experience. To find out what's happening, Dr. Anderson conducted a research study. A group of devout Mormons agreed to have their brains scanned with MRI machines while they were watching videos or reading about spiritual things. They talked about feelings of peace and physical sensations of warmth. Researchers said some were in tears by the end of the scan. The regions of the brain that lit up were part of the reward circuit of the brain. We learned that there are characteristic regions of the brain that are active when somebody has a spiritual or religious experience. The study shows scientific proof that something physically happens in the brain when we pray or have a spiritual experience. Maybe it seems obvious, but that something makes us feel better. It's been hypothesized that religious experience is a reward trigger for the brain, but we weren't expecting to see it so robust. This is an area that's also active when people experience reward from music or from romantic or parental love, from drugs like cocaine or methamphetamines. And this places religious experience in that same class of, of rewarding experiences. Dr. Anderson was intrigued by what happens to our brains when we pray, because so many of us make key life decisions based on our spiritual beliefs. People make a lot of really important decisions based on these spiritual feelings. And we'd like to understand how do those arise? Are they conditioning in a sense? Do we have a stimulus that produces a response and is that a reason why people come to believe the things that they do everything that flows from the human imagination that creates the world in which we live is a product of our ability to believe pastor a.r bernard oversees the christian cultural center megachurch in brooklyn he believes in the study's findings of a body and spirit connection we make decisions with our head and calculate, but at the end of the day, it's how we feel deep in our gut that determines the path that we take. Rabbi Arthur Schneier of Park East Synagogue on the Upper East Side of Manhattan says he also believes in the study's findings. He thinks prayer can be transformative. It gives you a sense of peace. There is a connection. It's not just the physical body, the mental activity. And again, I come back, every human being has a soul. And that manifests itself. When you are engaged in prayer, you just cut out every negative, harmful impact on your physical and emotional well-being. While the study only looked at Mormons, researchers believe their findings would be able to be replicated in any religion. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News. All right, and that study is part of the Religious Brain Project at the University of Utah. The plan is to study other religions in the future as well.